Well, well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You know, last night I was on my program, which is Talk and Sip, and I had Mark Cameron, I had Lester Gazza Gale, and I had O'Neill Cross. And the topic was, who speak for Jamaicans in the diaspora? Where's the voice that we have? Where's our voice? And, uh, and we came up with some different topics that needed to be addressed. And I'm going to talk about one right now, just one. And I'm sure many people can resonate with. The high cost of airfares to Jamaica. Going to Kingston, going to Montego Bay, is a high cost of fares, high cost fares. Fares are so high. You know, a few years ago, we did the lobbying for the airport passenger duty tax, but it was not just the airport passenger duty tax. That is what we got a concession in, whereby they reduced that. Didn't really do much, really. But what we were talking about was the, the high fares at that time going to Kingston and going to Montego Bay because the competition was none. After Air Jamaica gone, there was British Airways going to Kingston, Virgin going to Montego Bay. They controlled it. And I do recall speaking to the Virgin directors, British Airways directors, and they said, it's not a lucrative route. But something needs to be done. And I saw a, a friend of mine who is an estate agent just a couple of nights ago. And she said to me, Silburn, your government need to intervene or someone need to intervene in a way because Jamaicans getting a raw deal when it comes on to air flares to the Caribbean. Now, TUI, T-U-I-E, I hear it's, uh, it's been good. Speaking to a good friend and a couple of persons, uh, one person whose family passed away and they need to go to Jamaica quickly, thousand pounds, thousand pounds either way. So they're going to Montego Bay with TUI. To it, I think they got about 500 pounds and then you can actually pay for your baggage or so. So therefore, I think we're going to have to follow through with this in some respect. I believe that the people will have to consider and think on these things. You may have to start to be uncomfortable in not getting the average virgin and BA and maybe go to two way. Maybe look at different ways so you can make a flight. A good friend of mine said people have to do their research. And I'm going to get some more information on that because I do not want to do another program, not to do another talk and sit, not to do another discussion without an outcome to see how we can actually make it better for people in traveling back home. The visa thing is another thing we're going to talk about another time. Why do you need a visa to come to the UK? At the time when it was done, it was because of the jugs right? There's not that issue anymore. Who is talking about that? Who is addressing that? I guess we will have to do that, people. We'll have to do that. So yes, facilitators for Better Jamaica, myself and Mark Cameron. And so we're going to see how we can address this issue in a, a, a way whereby we can get some sort of resolve. Okay. Thank you very much. My name is Silver and Sidiel. Thank you.